Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's Garage Devotional. I'm Pastor Ted from Connect Church. Thank you so much for being with us. We are continuing in our series, A Travel's Guide During Times of Disruption. And today we're gonna to look at Embrace the Challenge. All of us have challenges, some small, some large, some medium, but during times of disruption, we have larger challenges and greater challenges. And we're gonna look at how do we embrace the challenge instead of running from it or being fearful of a challenge. We're gonna look at a passage of scripture in the Old Testament where there's King David is there, but he's not king yet. He's just David the shepherd, and he goes to visit his brothers on the front line of the war. And if they find out there's this giant there that has been taunting Israel's armies, and everybody's afraid, even the king, King Saul's afraid to go out and do battle with him. And then David says, he'll go out. So let's read a little bit of this passage and then kind of fill in some blanks for us for how to embrace challenge. Your servant has struck down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defied the armies of the living God. It goes on and says, and David said, the Lord will deliver me from the, who delivered me from the paw of the lion, from the paw of the bear, will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to him, David, Go and the Lord be with you. Now there's a lot of verses in between there and you might want to go back and look those up. But David says he will go. He's a young, young man, young adult. And he'll go and fight this giant, this warrior, this champion of the Philistines. And so Saul was afraid. And so he said, great, you go. We pick it up in verse 38. Then Saul clothed David with his armor. He put a helmet of bronze on his head and clothed him with a coat of mail. And David strapped on his sword over his armor, and he tried in vain to go, for he had not tested them. In other words, he had not tested this armor. He's never worn armor. He's a shepherd. Then David said to King Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not tested them. So David put them off. Then he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and put them in his shepherd's pouch. He, his sling was in his hand and he approached the Philistine. Verse 45 begins, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled and that all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword or spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into my hand. David was confident that he was up to this challenge. Why? Because the Lord, Jesus, goes with him and before him, and the battle is the Lord's. Whatever challenge you're facing today, it's Jesus' battle. Give it to him. Let him lead you and guide you how to handle that challenge or challenges. So here's a few little pointers for how we might embrace challenge. Number one, be bold. I'll say it again, be bold. In Jesus, you have been given strength. So be bold in that. Understand that in Jesus, you've been given strength. In Jesus, we can be bold in the face of overwhelming odds or overwhelming circumstances. Because Jesus is with us, we could face overwhelming odds, overwhelming circumstances, overwhelming challenges. Sometimes our boldness comes as we pray. And when we ask Jesus to give us strength and boldness that we need. So sometimes we might not start with boldness, but we, as we pray and ask Jesus to give us strength and boldness, the boldness comes to fill that need. Other times, it may come as, says, as we say, Jesus, I don't know if I can do this, but I trust you. So sometimes we find out we might just not feel the boldness, but as we pray and we talk to Jesus, say, Jesus, I don't know if I can do this, but I trust you. When we put our trust in Jesus, we have the boldness we need to handle any challenge. Secondly, focus on one challenge at a time. Focus on one challenge at a time. In other words, line up your challenges and take them one at a time. 
David faced Goliath first. Then he faced the army of the Philistines with the army of Israel. After he defeated Goliath, then he went on to the next challenge. So line up your challenges. Don't let them all pile on you at once. Line them up. So if you're facing multiple challenges at the same time, stop and prioritize them from the most important to the least important. Then start with number one and go at it with Jesus and wisdom that he gives you. And when you get done with one, then go to the second one. Line them up. Focus on one challenge at a time. Third, be you. Be who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to do it like somebody else. Be who you are. Use what Jesus has given you. Use what Jesus gives you. Don't try to live in someone else's armor. That's what Saul wanted to do, put David in his armor. David didn't fit in his armor. It wouldn't work for him. So don't try to do, to do this challenge or any challenge you face in somebody else's armor. Be yourself. Be who God's created you to be and given you to and what he's given you to do. Jesus has given each of us talents. Each of us, he's given our abilities, our gifts, our personality. Use them. Use them. Do what he, use what he has given you. And lastly, learn what you need. Assess the knowledge you are facing. Assess the challenge you're facing. Assess it. See what's going on with that, the challenge, and then make a list and a plan. So if it was that first challenge you're going to do, assess it. Then look at it as you're assessing it and make a, make a plan and a list or a list and a plan. So develop a plan that will address the challenge or would address the problem or the opportunity that, uh, that you might be getting that's challenging you. Look at it and assess it. David's plan was to fight Goliath in the name and power of Jesus. That was his plan. I'm going to fight you in the name and the power of Jesus. He had a plan. He had his sling and he had his five stones and he went in the power of the Lord to conquer Goliath. So he had a plan. He put on just his normal shepherd's clothes. He got his, his, his sling, he got the five stones and he went out and he faced him in the power of Jesus. Make a plan, it could be as simple as that. It might be a little more complicated, but make a plan. Then learn to fail with grace. Learn to fail with grace. There's going to be times that we fail in some of the challenges we have. Let's just be honest. It's going to happen. Sometimes we fail. And you might face a challenge and you might get your store. You might get all, all your, your things together. You put your list together. You get prepared. You go and you be yourself and you do those things and you still fail the challenge. That's all right. Learn to fail with grace and then learn from that failure. Learn to fail with grace and learn from that failure. And just to tag on, also, it helps to bring others with us, to ask others to walk this journey with us as we face our challenges. And they could give us extra wisdom and extra understanding. But be yourself. Be yourself in the challenges. Be yourself. Learn what you need to conquer that challenge. Go in boldness of the Lord. And please line up your challenges so they don't all don't try to do them all at once. So we have challenging times, but we have a plan. The plan is be bold, focus on one challenge at a time, be you, learn what you need to know, and when you, if you win and if you fail and that'll happen, then learn from that. You know, assess what happened in that sense. Also, we want to assess needs. What 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 is what do we need to do? to make this work. All right, that's what I have today. Hope it encourages you. Uh, might wanna jot it down and just make a plan. You've got this today, all right? Lord bless you, have a great day.